What's up, everybody? It's Andrew here, and we're doing the live stream on Friday. Good Friday to you. Um, today, we're going to be opening up the Fire Team Taurus. And I'm just kind of getting started here, trying to get the uh, chat where I can see it, like always. Um, give me just a couple minutes, and uh, we're going to open that up. And uh, I forgot something here, just one second. All right, I'm back, and I'm just going to try to get the chat going here just a second. Hope everybody can see it. Uh, let's go to that. No, that's not it. All right, so we're going to be opening this up in just a couple minutes and uh, kind of get an idea of what's in there. That's going to be a fun one. Give people a couple of minutes to join in just before we get started. I got my coffee. I'm ready to live stream. Uh, it's a hot one out here. Summer has definitely arrived. Any second now, I'll get this going. I always forget to do this um, before I go live, so... Just bear with me for a minute. How are you, Braden? How are you? All right, still looking for the thing. It's not showing up. Just a couple of minutes here. Hello, Blaine. How are you? Good Friday to you guys. Um, I don't know what's going on with this. It's just not working right. I may have to do it without that. That's okay. Couple minutes, just give me a second, guys. I'll get it going. Hope you guys are staying cool out there, drinking plenty of fluids. It's a hot one. All right, so I got this, uh, I think it was Wednesday, Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, and I'm pretty excited to, to get to open this up and see what's inside. Um, we're going to put all of this together. Um, one of the figures is already together, so we won't have to do that one. But, um, this is from an older, an older set. This is from, uh, 2015. And I really like that green. They, they did a good job with the green. Um, and of course we've got some, some cool weapons up here that is going to be in the set. And... We're going to open that up in just a second. All right, we got three people watching. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Um, open. Man, this thing does not want to work today. Try the home button. Nope. All right, well, we're going to do it without that. All right, we don't need that. All righty. Um, let's go ahead and open her up. Got our trusty blue knife here. Going to get in here and see what we got. Um... Uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and open this up. I don't know what I'm thinking. Get all the stuff out of there. We're probably going to need the instructions just based on 
some of my previous experiences. Well, we gotta get that one guy out. Oh, I forgot. Uh, see if I can get. All right, there we go. Now we got everybody. All right. Put that back down in there. All right, there we go. Get all the bags out. We got our instructions. Um, I guess we can open up the bags. I don't know if you guys are like me, but usually I just dump all the bags out at once. I know that's probably not the most effective way of doing things, but um, that's just how I, how I do things. You may be like me. Okay, the other three bags are um, the Spartans, so we will wait on those. Uh, these are the weapons. I'm going to set those aside, too. Okay. Um, doo -doo -doo. Let's um, get a look at the figure real quick. Um, it's already put together. That seems like a good place to start. Can everybody hear me all right? I got my fan on, so... I don't get too hot. Sometimes it makes the mic sound a little weird. All right. Um, just real quick, I'm gonna show you this. This is the uh, Mark IV Spartan. Or wait a minute, this is a six. This may be six. Okay, and you can kind of see there that this is a, a very similar green, and I think that's what they were going for was sort of that. Uh, Similar green. This one is a little bit more. Um, I guess it doesn't have as much black on it as this one does. Let's see if I can get him out of here. Let's get him up here and look at him. Uh, there we go. And I think this is the warrior. I better check this to be sure. Yep. Uh, that's the warrior. Um. Just give you a good look at him here. Uh, nothing to, nothing stands out too much. Uh, but you can see that they got that good green color that they're um, sort of re reintroduced. Good afternoon to you, Motion Wreck. Anyway, that's, uh, that's the figure that came put together already. And you can see that it's a little bit different than the old style, even though this, that's what they were going for. Uh, you can see there's a lot more black uh, in the one on the left. Uh, this one's more of a kind of a, like a brand new green, I guess you could say. Uh, as it hasn't been worn down uh, or weathered any, like uh, this one looks. But overall, that looks pretty cool. We're going to go through all of these. I'm just going to set this one aside until we get to that part. Um, and we don't need this. So, Alright, let's see what we got here as far as pieces go. I'm probably going to need that. Um, here's the flagpole. I can just deduce that much. A couple pieces got away from me there. Uh, and here's the flag. I don't know why they put it in here with this one. Um, I guess just to, he is the flag holder. Um, I can tell that this one is going to be on there like that. That's the power of deduction. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get out the instructions here. Just so I build it right and don't show you something that isn't correct. Looks like we're going to be taking um, one of these. Uh, silver plates. I don't know how well you can see that. Uh, let me get you down here where we're at. All right, and I'm gonna be putting this here. Um, this here. Bear with me, guys. I'm kind of kind of tired. Been a long week, but I am surviving.
All right, and then um, this shouldn't be too hard to do. I hope I hope I'm doing this right. Looks like that goes there. Um, this piece goes here. All right, and then we have our. I really like these these kind of pieces here. In case you're ever wanting to build a castle. You'll have some round walls there. All right, and I'm assuming that goes like that. All right, two more of those. And we should be good on the base of it. I'm just gonna do it like that. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me on a Friday. I know there's a lot a lot of stuff going on during the summer. And I am always appreciative to those who uh, come hang out with me on, and spend their Friday afternoon with me. All right. Well, that's pretty straightforward. And I guess um, after that, you just kind of build that up on the sides. Looks like we're going uh, three bricks high on that. So, just go ahead and get that done. Get those pieces up and out of the way. Onto our set. All right. Got that part. Now we're making the, uh, let's see here. Got some nice terrain pieces. Uh, some, some plants are always cool. All right, let's see. Um... We need, this says it's black on the instructions, but it's actually really a dark, darker gray. Um, where's that one piece? There it is. I guess that's it. Maybe. And then we're going to put this piece here. Uh, like so. That's going to go on one of the sides. Uh, let's pick this side just, just because. Alright, is that on that good? And we have a little console piece here somewhere that I'm not seeing. Does anybody see it? Um, huh. That seems weird. Maybe it's enough. Nope. All right. Um, these go here, I think. that uh, two little hinges go in the back like that and where'd you go where'd you go oh, there it is. Uh, all right Whoop. my goodness all right and that goes there um, then I'm gonna take these smooth on top and we'll put them there. Just checking the chats here real quick, just see what you guys are doing. Ah. All right, we got that done. All right, now we need to build our our console or the top of it here. Um, looks like one of these goes in the middle.
One of these days I'll figure it out. Um, like that. Okay, then that's that. You get to add on the underside these uh, these these pieces here. Ah, man, I don't want to go in there very good. There we go. All right, so that is that. Um, then we put this here. Followed by this. And in the back of it, we're gonna put this thing, the hinge receiver there. Let's just test it out here to see if that's gonna work. Hey, all right, it works. What? Nicely done. All right, then uh, we're gonna put the gun together here. Um, wow. A little more detailed than I thought. Um, so this is part of the gun. Uh, and let me see here. We're going to be taking a... Where'd that pin go? There it is. That goes there. What's up, everybody? How are you doing? Oh, yeah, that's uh, that's just to show everybody that um, I'm live. I know that's kind of silly, but uh, I think it's kind of cool. When, when else am I going to get to use that lot? I would say never. One more of those. And uh, this is what's going to be our substitute barrel there. goes in like that. And then on the underside, these that go here. I'm sorry if I'm not... I'm showing you this again. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying. Um, so that's going to go in there like that. Better hold off till we get it all the way done. Um, and then you take this, what looks like a little wrench, and you're going to put that in there. And this other little thing here that goes in there like that I guess that's how it goes and then on the edge we're gonna put um, these these things here we're nearly done guys and then we'll do something else So like that, and then uh, these little angles go on like that. And I'm trying to get it on there just right. Okay, I'm kind of maybe a little bit like that. It's like everything. I think that's done. All right. The idea here is that's going to pop up just a little bit. And then that. And then. It doesn't go in there like very, very good. And... Get poking out the bottom. Maybe I didn't put it together right. I can get the idea though. Alright, so that's that. Um, over here we have our 
fusion coil. And I think this is the first one I've seen that's black, so that's kind of cool. So that's going to go there. Like that. And then we have a little top here. Put on there. And there's that. And then I think the last step here is to make a little tree. Or a bush, I guess. Not very big. There's our tree. Like that. All right. Hello, desktop. How are you? Hello, rookie. We're putting a fire team Taurus set that I just got. And, and I'm just chilling and uh, drinking some coffee here. Um, I guess that's it. Um, believe that's it. Together to this Spartan. I think it's going to be uh, one here. And they had a, a, um, there you go. Well and good. Excellent. Excellent that you have this set. Um, I guess they gave you these trains. Uh, we'll put them like that. Here's a little flag. Flag is, uh, Taurus. The, the Taurus team. Okay. That's a good question. Um, I guess uh, uh, USC commissions the, the, the Spartan, I think, Fire Team Blue uh, has got uh, Master Chief. Uh, Osiris, I think, is a Spartan. Uh, Buck and all those. So, I don't know why that they can identify them uh, out in the field. Someone I'm sure knows the answer. Oh. Yeah, built. So he can join up with the rest of the army. The, um, this is the chess piece that goes. Like that. I'm going to come with this. Um, that's, see a little mistake there on the top. I'll have to sand that down a little bit. Uh, see it right there? I don't know if you can see it. Alright. Not a big deal, but uh, quality is always an issue. His head doesn't really want to turn very well. All right, uh, I guess that's uh, just a little rubbery, rubbery there. Ah, uh, the shoulders. All right, so we got the recruit done. Let's get him up here on the stand. Let you look at him get. Where did everybody go? All right. Um, I'm going to go up a little bit here. So that is the recruit uh, all put together. Yeah. So, joining uh, the rest of my spark head. That seems a little weird. I guess that's... Uh, Maybe it's not. Anyway, um, the other one's not like that. So 
All right, so there is the recruit. I think he's... Maybe the problem is it's not pushed in all the way. Oh, well, we'll work on that later. All right, uh, let's move on to the next one. Got a couple more, and I'll open it up to the... Uh, Checking the chats here. Just give me a second. <sighs> I don't think I'm going to be doing uh, the Osiris one until until I get it. I don't know when I'll get it, if I ever get it. Um, so, um, I'm sure I will, once I do that, once I get it, I'll, I'll definitely, uh, I'll do another live stream. And we will put it together. Ah. We're just chilling. It's super hot out here, like it always is. Uh, so I'm just s soldiering through. These always trip me up. And that goes on the other leg. Like that. Alrighty. This one doesn't have the mistake on the uh, on the uh, chest piece, so that's good. All right, and that one is the soldier. What a clever name! Uh, I forgot the shoulder pieces. I'm put those on real quick. Maybe if I can hang on to them. I uh, got them on upside down, probably. Like I always do. Yeah, that seems right. Maybe. Ah! Alright, there is the soldier. Uh, all put together. Kind of leaning back there. Not the same issue with the head as the other one. So that's good. But there we go. The soldier is done. All right, one more, and we will open it up to a Q&A. Check the chance here. I think we're all caught up. Uh, the last one here is the Enforcer. Yes, the Enforcer. Uh, one of my favorite uh, Spartans, just because he looks very cool. Uh, let's see here. The legs are always tricky. That goes on the other leg. And maybe not. That seems right. No, that's not right. Why can't I get this? There we go. If you go back and uh, watch um, Gray Matters, uh, you'll notice that uh, Jay and um, the yellow, the yellow Spartan, uh, the leg, the leg uh, thing here is on backwards. Something that uh, <laughs> you just don't think about when you're uh, animating if, if the thing is put together right uh just one of those you get in a hurry things so now that i know that there's a certain way that they go and i try to take extra extra time and make sure i put them on the right way just so that don't happen again Almost done.
You think that the little curve uh, there should should uh, keep you from putting it on backwards, but you know, things happen. We got four people watching. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Wouldn't be an enforcer without that very awesome head. Helmet. And I think that's how they go. I'm not certain. That looks kind of right. All right, we are done. Get him up here, let you look at him. I made me a little stand here just so that the, I'm not dropping it and you can kind of get a good look at them. That is it. The team is complete. They are assembled. Uh, go ahead and uh, bring them all back out here so you can get a good look at the set. Um, I don't see anything wrong with this one. This is a, a good set. A couple little minor issues with the molding, but nothing to, nothing that you can't forgive. Um, and there's a little bit of issue with the gun. I don't want to go down into the thing. But overall, a very good set. Let's get a look at the weapons here. This is the uh, the new mold of the rocket launcher. Uh, we got a saw, target locator, uh, shotgun. And a new mold of the sniper. I guess that's a new mold uh, with its tripod. So there's what you get with this one. Um, I got this for ten dollars, so that's a I feel like a pretty good value. There's something that always bugs me with these. If you'll notice the plants in the picture, they look very clean and straight, and they never look like that in the on the box, in the box art. You see how just perfect they look, and then they're nothing like that uh, once you get them out, once you get the piece out. Strange indeed. So that's the set. Um... I can't uh, see anything that's an issue. Um, I noticed that this is a, if you look at the box, it's almost like a gunmetal gray. And these are all like more more black than uh, that. Uh, all the weapons are shown to be gunmetal gray and they're all black. So uh, I guess that's a little bit of a, an issue, especially if you're expecting to get those kind of weapons. Uh, but other than that, um, that is the set that you get. Alright guys, I'm done with the set. Uh, the target locator. It's just a very small, um, I think they came out with that in Halo 3. Maybe Reach, I'm not sure. Uh, but that's what it is. All right, I'm ready to check, guys. I can show you this real quick. Uh, if you notice, the background is uh, different. That is uh, something that I got uh, this week, and it's um, these are old, uh, like a brochure stand, and I got three of them. And just kind of showing you around here. Uh, this is where I'm putting my plates. Uh, at the far, far, far left is uh, one by twos. Underneath there is um, two by twos, and it kind of progresses up. Uh, doubles on the bottom, singles on the top. Uh, and then over here we have more of the bigger plates. And it goes all the way down to uh, terrain pieces at the very end. Uh, some bigger, uh, I think those are eight by sixteens, and a couple of hinge things there. And uh, just a way to kind of give me more room and kind of get stuff up out of the way. Uh, that's uh, what I'm doing with those. And I can see what's in there, and I can kind of dig out what I need. Uh, I think that's going to work out good. I have some more of these 
that I'm going to hang up on the garage wall. Uh, just as soon as I get caught up on some stuff, uh, they're going to have to be cut, and uh, cutting them is kind of tricky. Uh, but I think I found a way that works pretty good. But anyway, that's uh, the uh, new way I'm going to kind of keep the plates. Uh, I just hate digging through plates, and I hate mixing them in with the regular bricks. Uh, and that kind of gets them up out of the way, and I can still kind of see what I need. And if I need something, I can grab it out of there uh, pretty easy. Um, sorry about that. Um, and then I got a couple empty ones. I got one empty one here behind this that uh, I haven't decided what I'm going to put in that. But uh, for now, it's just uh, a couple of a couple of different ways to kind of keep the plates and stuff separated. I thought that was kind of cool, and it gives me a lot more room on the desk to work with. So that's the uh, the point there. All right, let me go through the chats here. Ten bucks is what I paid for that. Yeah, that's a good good price. That's hard to pass up, uh, especially since it has a couple of my favorite ones: the recruit and the uh, enforcer are both uh, two of my favorites. The warrior is a good addition. Uh, that printed piece on there is worth it. Uh, the flag and of course the uh, fusion coil and the plants. Those are that, for ten bucks, you can't beat that. I think on uh, Amazon they're going for about sixteen dollars, so I saved six bucks. Yeah, and again, uh, on the shininess of the figures, they do look a lot more shiny on the box, and they're not quite as shiny, a little bit more of a, a dull color. Um, and I think if you wanted to make them shiny, what you'd have to do is you'd have to clear coat those uh, with some some uh, spray paint or something, which would be hard to do for the helmet because you'd have to tape off. Well, no, you wouldn't have to tape, tape off the visor. Uh, a good clear coat, fingernail polish clear coat, would, uh, would shiny, make them a little more shiny. Uh, later on, I'm going to be doing some, uh, some customs and I'll be showing you guys how to paint those and, uh, and, and prep them up and make them a little bit more worn, maybe, uh, uh get in there with some black and, uh, accent the, uh, the creases and crevices and all that kind of stuff just to make them look more realistic. But, um, so stay tuned for that. That'll be later on. Uh, I don't know when that'll be, but sometime. All right, um, so, uh, Brayden, I'm not sure what that question is, um, that's actually three of them, um, if you're talking about the brochure rack, uh, that's three of them, they were all separate, and I just kind of scooted them in, and, uh, I cut the bottom off because the bottom of them are a much bigger uh, tray or container. And I'm going to put those on the wall, and I'm going to put the big, big base plates and the big pieces in those, get those up out of, out of my way. Dafter things, hey, are you? Um, yeah, I'm always looking for a different way to kind of store stuff and kind of... Uh, Maybe a unique way, and no, I don't know. I don't know if that's the the right word for it, but uh, I'm always kind of looking for a way that maybe a little bit more uh, artistic or creative, uh, just to kind of give it a little pizzazz. And then when people come over and they want to build stuff with me, um, I have a a group of uh, people that come. Uh, we meet like once a month, but every now and then uh, we'll get somebody and they'll come over and we'll we'll do a custom or or something like that. And uh, it's good to have it where people can find what they need because they don't know your system. And when they come in, uh, if they look around here, they can kind of say, "Well, hey, we got we got these here, these here. I can I can build. I don't have to show them where everything is." So that's kind of kind of the idea there. The soldier figure is a good one. Um, I like I like uh, everything but the helmet. Um, I'm not crazy about the helmet design. Uh, to me, it looks kind of like that, almost. But I don't know. Uh, these look like uh, like mascara almost on a, and then this looks like lips. So it's not not necessarily my favorite uh, design there. Uh, but to each zone. I mean, everybody has their own. 
own opinion, opinions. I don't have the fire team castle. Well, right, guys. I think that's uh, I got I got the set done. I showed you that. Um, I'm just trying to think of what what else we could talk about. Um, offhand, I don't have any new news or uh, anything uh, new. This was the newest thing I got. Um, next Friday, I will probably be opening up a. Uh, I think I'm getting a uh, banished uh, brute customizer pack. I think that's what's coming. Uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to get that, uh, and that's what we're going to open up next Friday. Uh, if you want to come by and check that out, you can. Um, I've been working on different things. Uh, right now I'm trying to get everything kind of cleaned up and uh, organized so I can, when uh, it cools off, uh, I'll be ready to animate and uh, everything will be where it's supposed to be, and I'll have uh, an easy time finding everything and... Uh, if I have anybody come over and help me, uh, they'll know where everything is, too. And uh, we have a bunch of junk in here that we're trying to yard sale and, and stuff, so we're going to uh, try to get all that stuff out of the way, uh, hopefully very soon. <laughs> yeah. I guess you could say that about any of them that have uh, the black accent on there, but to me that just looks like uh, like he went a little crazy with the smoky eyes. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. N not not one that I would use, uh, but I don't know. You never know what you're gonna need. Um, usually, like uh, if something gets real, real bad, dirty, I'm answering. Uh, Armando's uh, question. Uh, if stuff like this gets dirty, I'll put them in a... Uh, I don't want to say it's a garment bag, but it's a, it's a bag with a little... Almost like a mesh bag. Yeah, I think that's what they're called. And I'll throw them in the dishwasher and, and then wash them on like a quick cycle. Uh, you don't want to leave them in there too long because they can melt. Uh, but usually I'll just hit it with like... A, I have a compressor, air compressor. And a one of them things that shoots the air and I'll just kind of dust them off like that if they're not like stained or dirty or anything uh, that's usually how I clean them and then uh, usually maybe once a month I'll come out here and I'll kind of dust and uh, kind of wipe up anything that's uh, been spilled there's always a coffee stain here or there uh, so I gotta keep on top of that and um, this this uh, I don't know if you can see it this uh this YouTube here is painted onto the table. This is a, uh, and then it's clear coated over the top. So to keep it looking clean, I kind of have to come out here and kind of hit it with a magic eraser and keep it uh, nice and bright. Uh, it's always a good conversation piece when people come over. I hand painted that on there, so uh, it took a little bit of time. It ain't exactly like the logo of YouTube, but it's close enough. And uh, it has my name up underneath it where you can't see it. I painted it. It was me. My skills. Uh, but anyway, the, I try to keep it clean. And then when uh, somebody new comes over and they see this, they always get some mask of like, hey, you got a YouTube channel? And I'll say, yeah, yeah, you should go check it out. And it's kind of a way to kind of personalize uh, my workspace and make it feel like it's it's my place. Uh, it's not exactly the why is a little off. Here, let me show you. Uh, that's what it looks like. Uh, the Y is a little bit off, and over here the the T is a little too big. Uh, and then underneath it is uh, my name, which is kind of obscured a little bit. Uh, but and then there's the uh, my last name. Uh, but everybody always comes over, and when they see that for the first time, they're always like, "Oh wow, man, that's cool." Uh, I had a good time painting it. I do a little bit of painting it on the off time, and it's mainly just kind of like decals and uh, letters and stuff. Nothing like uh, artwork or nothing like that. But uh, that's what I do usually. Um, if you can't get a hold of an air compressor, you can get those uh, those 
duster cans those work pretty good and if uh there's some hacks on the uh, on youtube about how to install like a, a tire valve stem onto the can and then you can reload it with uh like a uh, uh, air air gun or whatever whatever you use to air up your tire like a i don't know what they're called but you know you can fill that can up and use it again and again after it's empty that's something you might want to do Some people will, uh, I've seen them put them, uh, just a tub of soapy water and they'll kind of just swirl them around in there and then kind of pull them out and uh, let them dry off. I've seen them do that. And I think that's about it. I mean, just some basic cleaners. Uh, it's plastic, so you have to be careful what, what type of uh, cleaner you use. Some stuff will melt the plastic, so you don't want to get too crazy with uh, the cleaning agent. Um, well, um, I'm uh, answering Braden's question now. Um, the stand that I'm using is different than this one, but this is, uh, I don't have my, uh, my iPod out here to show you. But basically what you do is you put your phone in there and then you got to be real careful not to, uh, not to smash it, but uh, let's just say this is your phone uh, for demonstrative purposes. But you'll put your phone in there and you'll kind of just tighten it up. And you don't want it like super tight, but get it in there where it'll hold, hold it still. And then uh, this has a couple of holes that you can screw down into there, into your uh, table if you want to do that. This is a, uh, it's kind of heavy, so you, it kind of stays where you want it without having to. Uh, bolt it down but you could bolt it down if you had to this is just like a typical like little desk i don't know it's like a vice but you can probably get them for i don't know 20 bucks maybe this is a very old one this was my dad's so uh i've had it for a real long time and it's real durable Meat man this thing uh works really good and i use it for uh holding the uh, stuff still and uh like if i need to customize something or i need to cut it cut it with a saw or something I'll use that to hold it still and I've even used this uh, this to like clamp on a base plate or something to a table you know I, I use it all the time uh, but that's usually for the real low angles uh, I'll show you the one I got right here that I'm using right now it is a little bit different uh, this is it uh, it's similar to that one, but it has uh, this for the clamping of the of the thing down. Whoop! And uh, this part swivels on the top. So, uh, well, I can't really do it with one hand. Hold on, just a second. Let's set that down in there. Hope I don't break it. Uh, okay, so let me do that right there. All right, let's move this stuff out of the way here, and I'll kind of demonstrate what I'm talking about. Um, so this uh, swivels, and it has a, a ball ball joint there that you can uh, you can make it go up and down. And then it has this little space here where you can actually hook it, hook it down in, and make it go at an angle like like that. Uh, so it's real versatile. I don't remember where I got this. This is another one of the things I got, I got from my dad that has these uh, these rubber uh, things here that kind of helps keep things from getting damaged, especially your phone. This is why I use this one because it's uh, a little more gentle on the phone, and you don't have to worry about it uh, just crushing it crushing it to pieces uh, so that's what I use uh, mainly uh, and it clips right to the side of my desk uh, you have these here that uh, adjust the uh, tightness of the ball and this uh, you get it on your phone and then you can turn this uh, anyway uh, if you want to do a pan or something like that so it's pretty versatile uh, it's one that I've had for a while uh, get that back uh, 
out here. So if you have one of those, uh, I know that's not typically what people use for uh, camera stands, but uh, I like them because they're uh, real durable uh, and they hold stuff still. Like, I mean, it really holds it still. You don't have to worry about uh, stuff falling over or coming loose or anything like that. And they go up real easy uh, once you get them clamped in. Uh, you can be ready to go uh, in just a couple minutes uh, on to your next project. Get that back in there. I'm sorry, my finger's in the way. But anyway, that's how that works. Um, this way. There we go. Any other questions? Get that back on there. I went the wrong way. I think people use uh, Legos and stuff like that for uh, for their stand. Uh, just use whatever you're comfortable with. I like this one. Uh, it's it's real sturdy, uh, and I use this one for the low angles. Like if I'm trying to shoot something real low, I'll put the camera down here in the corner, and uh, it'll be almost like it's uh, eye to eye with the, with the characters. So that's that. All right, guys, I got about eight more minutes and I got to go. So if you got some questions, shoot them at me. I'm going to be doing a, a lot more uh, of the instructional videos. I just hadn't had time to do those yet. And it's a little bit hot out here, so I don't want to be out here like all day uh, doing stuff. But I am going to be doing some more of that stuff in the future. That's the plan anyway. And uh, I'll be showing you different things uh, that you can use. And uh, nine times out of ten, you want to use what you have around your house. You know, you don't want to have to go to the store and uh, and uh, buy buy something, and then uh, you may only use it once, uh, or you may use it all the time. But uh, it just depends. So you try to use what you have available around you, and then you won't have to spend any extra money. And that's kind of my goal. Uh, that way I can keep it cheap and I don't have a huge bill at the end of, the, end of a, a little animation. Take a challenge. Well, it depends on what kind of challenge it is. If it's the ice bucket challenge, I, I'll do that uh, probably as soon as this live stream's over. What is your challenge? Put them together to make a Blade Runner spinner. Hmm. Um, man, I don't know. I'm not really more, I'm not a builder per se. I just kind of build uh, what I need. So I, I don't really know how to envision stuff like all going together and making something really awesome. Uh, that's that's not really my thing. Uh, but um, I'm probably right there with you. I don't really build stuff that's uh, that's not... Uh, already have instructions to it. Every now and then I'll do something, but uh, uh, vehicles and stuff like that I don't really, I don't really do uh, that much. But uh, I have the, which one is it? The so you need the Hornet and the uh, I don't have the Hornet, so I couldn't do that uh, unless I got one. I would attempt it uh, just to see if I could, but. Uh, I don't know how to get, I don't, I don't know where, uh, where to even start. <clears throat> What's up, Ghost26? If you're just joining us, we put together the, uh, the fire team, Taurus, and I showed some people some stuff, some camera stands that I use. I call them camera stands. They're actually, uh, more like a vice or, uh, clamp or whatever. I don't, I don't know what, what their technical terms are. Uh, I showed everybody my brochure stand that I converted into a, uh, a Lego storage system. 
And the stand that I use, you can see that you can get some pretty good uh, solid movements out of there. Especially if uh, you work with it a little bit there. Anyway. Has anybody got any more questions? Ah. Now I got a new phone and a new case, so it uh, it's not as good as my old case. The old phone case worked a lot better. Oh man, camera nudge. Those are terrible. Um, I don't really have a system, but usually like when I try to frame something up, let's say... Uh, I try to put the edge of the frame on the edge of the set, and if it does get bumped, I can move it back to the edge of the frame, and it, that usually works. It's not perfect. Uh, usually the best way to avoid that is uh, try to get your camera, you know, almost... Uh, the camera stand I just showed you is perfect because you can put your arms uh, on either side of it, and you don't have to worry about bumping it because it's not in the way. So when I'm working, uh, I can work here and uh and animate uh the characters without uh bumping the camera because the camera is right in the middle uh and there's a little bit of space between the the top of it so i can kind of get my hands in around it and arms uh, but every now and then i'll bump it and uh it'll mess up the shot and uh really the only way to do it is uh just kind of be careful and uh go real slow uh when you're doing stuff uh until you get comfortable in your work area. Um, and again, you can put, put the uh, edge of the camera or the edge of the frame right on the edge of your set. And then if you do bump it, you can kind of realign it back to where it, it, it was. Um, another solution you could do is if you have a desk like this one or you put down some paper, uh, you could put a sheet of paper underneath it and tape it tape it to the table and then you can take uh let's pretend this is a pencil you could outline your set and if it does get bumped uh you just move it back to that outline uh would work well uh you could try that i understand that um a problem that I had uh, was uh, the lighting was I used uh, desk lamps for a long time and uh, I would bump those lights and then it would mess up the shot and then uh, the way I, I built this whole uh, little area that I'm, I'm working at right now and I mounted the cameras up into the ceiling up, up where the cabinets are so uh, that way they, I don't have to worry about bumping them because they're about two or three feet above me uh, so I don't ever have to worry about bumping the lights. Um, I do bump the camera every now and then. Um, basically what I got set up here is just some total madness. Uh, I don't know if I can show you the lights without it, uh, like obscuring it. Uh, so there's the backlight, uh, there. And then up out here in the front is a desk lamp over here, and it's mounted into the cabinet. And then over here is another light that I have uh, mounted. Um, get around in there. Uh, it mounts into the cabinet there. So uh, that keeps the lights uh, up and out of the way, and I don't want, have to worry about nudging those as much. Uh, so that's one thing. All right, guys, i got to go here pretty quick. Uh, let me know. Well, I got a little bit more time. I got eight. I got eight minutes still. If you guys got any other questions, let me go through here real quick. Uh, uh, sometimes you have to. They have a watermark on the app if you use like a, a CamWow or or something like that, and you have to buy the full version, you know, to not get the watermark. Uh, so that's kind of a drawback. And then again, uh, I don't know what aspect ratio it's going to be in when I upload it to the computer. So I typically just take the pictures with the iPhone camera, and then that's that's it. 
and uh, upload it to the computer. If I have to make modifications to it, I'll do it in the computer. I won't do it with uh, apps on my phone unless it's like StickBot or something like that. And I use Avery a little bit uh, to kind of give a blur effect. Uh, that's, a, that's a good one. Uh, those are both free, so if you want to get those, I'd recommend those. Uh, Ghost 26, I am going to make a Grey Matters, I don't know. Um, I haven't wrote a script for it, so I don't know if that's going to happen anytime soon. Um, I have some projects I want to get done before I try to tackle any more sequels or anything like that, so... Uh, for now, there's no plans of, of making it. I'm kind of just letting that video kind of do its own thing. And if it gets uh, more views and becomes more popular, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely revisit that and uh, try to get a story built around that. Um, my favorite one is Grey Matters. Um, I think somebody asked me that a week ago or something. But uh, I like that one because it's a good little snapshot of where I'm at as an animator. And I felt like I put all the tricks that I have in, into making that one, and it, it just uh, is one that I feel like is is uh, best represents my abilities. Uh, so, yeah, it's a good one. A lot of people like the containment one, and um, I like that one too. I just don't feel like it could have it could have been a lot better uh, if I'd have spent a little bit more time on it. So when I look at it, I always see. Uh, where I could have improved it, and I didn't. So I don't watch that one that much. Uh, it's probably my second favorite, though. Which uh, which scene are you talking about there? When he fell through? Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I thought that was uh, a nice little touch. Um, one thing I've been trying to work on as an animator is trying to encompass uh, the stuff that's in the universe, and that and that be it. Uh, I know people use uh, cotton balls and uh, uh, different things for, but it's. I think it's more. Uh, I don't want to say believable, but it's more like correct if it's everything is made like if everything is made out of bricks, uh, including the bullets and the the gun flashes and explosions. Uh, it just feels a little bit more authentic. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, you guys seen the Lego Movie? You know that. Uh, you know, there was some stuff in there that isn't Lego, like the Band-Aid and the Craggle and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so even those people do that. But I try to keep everything within the same little universe uh, just to make it feel a little bit more complete. But sometimes you have to go for something that doesn't exist, like a cloud of smoke. Uh, it's going to have to be pretty much a cotton ball. Uh, otherwise, uh, it's not going to look right. Uh... Hello, Noble Six. How are you? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know what you're talking about now. Yeah, that was a fun little video to put together, and there's a lot of different uh, things that I went went through to, to put that one up uh, to get it done. A couple of green screens and uh, a lot of sticky tack. I'm doing good. I'm a little hot, but uh, I don't notice it as much anymore. This is what I call sauna time. All right, guys, I got a couple more minutes and I got to go. If you're just tuning in, we put this together and uh, we kind of looked at some different things about it. Um, you can go check that out if you want to watch how, how we built it all. Uh, it comes with this handy dandy gun that pops out and you can go. Pew, pew, Anyway, that's what we did earlier. Um, 
I got this online, uh, Amazon. I got a deal on it for 10 bucks. This is an older set. I think this one's from uh, 2015, so you might have time finding it, but uh, there's still a few a few available. Uh, this is still using the uh, Mega Bloks uh, name instead of Mega Constructs, so it is a little bit older one. But that's one I wanted to get. I kind of like that green color, and it had some cool pieces in here that I wanted to get. I always like having extra plants and uh, terrain pieces and all that kind of stuff. So I always try to get stuff that I can use in other places too. Where go where I have wondered that too, like go off camera or somewhere. We're not doing the are you talking about a room tour? We're not doing the room tour just yet. I have a lot of cleaning to do still, so um yeah, I'll, I got some advice for you. Um, real quick, um, if you're just starting out, um, the things that you'll need, you'll need a, a good, strong, uh, sturdy table, something flat, uh, a decent camera, your cell phone works good, um, get you some tape or something that you can uh, use to kind of tape your, tape your sets down, and... Uh, just get in there and take uh, as many pictures as you can. Uh, kind of go through. When you animate, you have to go through each motion very, very carefully, each one, each time. Uh, if you want to make him do something, like you want him to raise his arms up, you have to go uh, take a picture each time you make a small movement. And then you have to link those together to get, uh, you know, this guy saying, What's up? You know. Uh, and uh, a lot of videos watch watch what other people do and you'll you'll pick up uh you'll pick up the uh tr tricks that they're using uh when you see them and uh, you can get your tools you know something uh something like that you can use to kind of manip manipulate their uh, their appendages here with a uh, a little bit of precision where your hands may not be able to get in there and uh just keep practicing every time you make uh make a video you're going to get a little bit better yeah, there's a ton of good tutorials out there, and uh, you just have to kind of check them out. I wish I had one that uh, that just went through the very basics. That's probably what I'll be working on sometime. It's just a very basic video for beginners to kind of get into this. Because my success depends on you guys. And uh, if you guys make videos, and I make videos, and we all kind of... Uh, Keep, keep the market open for them. Uh, people will watch them, and then uh, kind of everybody succeeds when uh, when you guys. I used to be pretty guarded about how, how I did things just because I didn't want people to copy my, the same technique. But I, I understand now that uh, for me to succeed, I need you guys to succeed. Uh, and that way I can keep doing this. And, uh, you know, who knows where it will lead to. I'm, I'm definitely going to pursue it as far as I can go with it. And uh, and if you guys are doing the same thing, then we can all kind of support each other and kind of learn from each other and, and do things like that. Uh, Dafter Things brings up good points. Everything takes time and practice. You just have to kind of go. You got to put the time in and you'll you'll get there. All right, guys, I may have time for one more question, and then I got to go. Hello, Brendan. How are you? Good Friday to everybody. Hope you're staying cool. There's a heat wave going on. I got to go here pretty quick, guys. This is uh, running a little longer than I thought. My favorite YouTuber? That's a that's a tough question. Um, I almost want to say me, but uh, it's not me. Probably uh, Motroid X. He makes some really quality videos. I think he's probably the best uh, as far as animators. I don't know. I watch a lot of other videos too, though. 
Uh, if anybody's ever heard of Fanboy Flicks, uh, he's got a good channel. He doesn't put videos out very much, but when he do, when he does, they're uh, they're really funny. Uh, so he's one that I watch quite a bit. I used to watch a lot of Cinema Sins, but they're kind of all the same. Yeah. Wyoming is good. Um, yeah, you can do whatever you're going to do, man. I usually start, I say that the live streams are going to be from 3 to 4, and then I kind of start them at uh, 250 just to kind of work out any uh, technical difficulty I might have in case I have to shut it down and start over. Um, but, yeah, uh, every Friday uh, from 3 to 4, I'm going to be doing a live stream for the summer. So I might be able to show you that kind of stuff. Anyway, i got to go, guys. I'll talk to you later.